Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here and it's Friday the 4th of January. Thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Uh, don't forget that the site is kept free of charge by the adverts that you see around the site and by you coming back to weatherweb.net, that's what keeps it free of charge and by using the adverts, using the charts, etc, that's what keeps us all free of charge. So thank you for doing that. Um, as you can see, back now in the office, uh, back from the wilds of West Wales uh, and we are uh, we're looking ahead into the next sort of 10 to 10 days to two weeks with an outlook uh, on a separate video going into the middle part of february some hints of some cooler weather on the way and just take you through these charts first of all these are from the um, gfs and uh, this is the chart for this morning we've got high pressure here centered down towards the south of the country got a, a quite a mild southwesterly flow affecting all areas now as i run through the chart you'll notice that high kind of hangs around to the south we find bits and pieces of drizzle affecting western coasts and then as we head into tomorrow a more persistent area of rain coming into western scotland and western parts of ireland but generally most places under the influence of that high pressure then into Saturday, still got rain around across Scotland, some of it quite heavy at times, and we find more pulses of rain just coming into Ireland during the course of Sunday, but that high holding on to the south. Can't promise it's going to be sunny, there probably is always going to be a fair amount of cloud, drizzle affecting western and southern coast, but certainly drier conditions than we've been used to recently. And you see there just rain feeding onto western coast of Scotland through Ireland as well, as we head in towards the early part of next week. And really it's not until at least Tuesday of next week before the GFS tries to bring in a weak front here look just moving its way slowly eastwards through the country but it's not really going to make much progress and I think it will be quite a weak feature. Into uh, the middle part of next week high pressure is still with us now some interesting changes start to take place because by the time we get in towards uh, Thursday what the GFS tries to do is to shift the high a little bit further north that turns the flow <coughs> excuse me more into an east or southeasterly direction and it has the effect of lowering temperatures and really that GFS doesn't know what to then do with the high that's out towards the east look we've got low pressure out towards the west high pressure out towards the east and this kind of east to south easterly flow drifting in which is going to be slowly eating away at temperatures now if you've been watching the videos um, recently you'll know that I was talking about this slow decline in temperatures taking place the ensemble has picked up on that for some time and this is the start of it taking place on the GFS and if we just take a look at uh, GFS temperatures, there they are. This is the um, prediction for London for the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> and you see here, this is this cold snap come again, look. And then this kind of fall away in temperatures. Although, notice, it never really gets cold. It's only kind of to around 5 degrees um, in terms of, of cold. <clears throat> now, um, just looking further north, and this is for Glasgow, this sort of profile up, fall off around the 9th or 10th, and then a gradual cooling in temperatures. Colder up there, though, certainly. Maximum temperatures here by the 19th predicted to be around 2 degrees. So, certainly some cooler weather further north. I'll go into that in more detail in the longer range outlook. Um, as far as uh, precipitation is concerned, well, not much around. This is the prediction from the GFS for the next week up to 6 a.m. on uh, the morning of Saturday the 12th. And you can see here virtually no rainfall at all across the eastern parts of the country. Bits and pieces uh, for the west and the south. And it's these western parts of Scotland and Western Ireland that see most of the rain from those fronts that we saw just feeding their way northwards here uh, as, as we're into, when was it? It was going into the uh, early part of... Uh, of uh, uh, where are we? Let's just get those charts there, for you can see what that rain is. Then there we go. It was those. Uh, it was the rain coming in as we went into the uh, early part uh, of the week. And uh, as far as the totals are concerned in terms of uh, blocks, well, this is the one to five day total from the ensemble. You see uh, there we've got four or five millimetres over the next four or five days across much of England and Wales. Just a bit, as I said, falling here across western parts of Scotland and Western Ireland. Then into the next. Uh, 10 day period which is day 6 sorry 5 day period day 6 to day 10 again very little rain around across much of the country and again into day 11 to 15 again very little rain so just not much rain to come in the next couple of weeks you'll be pleased to know okay for uh, the long range I'm going to do a separate video because we've got new runs in from the Japanese model from the Korean model as well it's worthwhile having a look at how they see things developing so for now thanks for watching keep the sun shining don't forget we're kept free of charge by the adverts you hear on the screen you clicking on the adverts coming back to the site it's that that generates revenue that keeps us completely free of charge so thank you for doing that and keep the sun shining bye for now